All right, guys, we're going to fix some beard issues. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I do when the beard is glitching, when I'm making like a fictional cyber face or whatever, mix and match face. So this face here, facial hair, I'm sorry, the file here, you see it matches up with this appearance, 10007. And so I go inside that facial hair file. The facial hair scene file is what I need. So I'm using 7-Zip to look at, to go inside of that. So I, I drag the facial hair to my desktop and then I open it in Notepad Plus Plus or Notepad Plus. I, I don't know which, what it's called. But anyway, I'm going to search for the dot model file. If I'm going too fast, just go back. So here's the first dot model file that appears. I'm going to place the cursor in front of this comma behind the closed bracket after the dot model file. Place the cursor in front of the comma. We are inside of the facial hair 01 scene file. Then I go all the way down to the bottom. After the final mo dot model file, press shift, hold down shift, and then click behind this closed bracket and press backspace and everything as you saw disappeared because I pressed backspace. And then the next thing we do, we go down to where it says LODs, which is level of detail. We're going to get rid of these level of detail shapes. We only want the highest level of detail, which is the high head. So we're going to remove all this extra info. All of these are just going to say high head. Okay, then I save this file in Notepad++ and that's the version that that's the file that's on my desktop. So I pull 7-zip back up. All these LOD models we will no longer need. We just need that highest, uh, that biggest dot model file. But we do need this facial hair underscore 01 dot scene file. Pull up 7-zip. We're going to drag that back inside of the .if file. It's going to give us a prompt. Yes, we do want to replace it. And then we're going to get rid of all these LOD models, level of detail models. Delete that. And now we're left with just those two. We back out of the facial hair 01.if file. I can... I can now delete the one that was on my desktop and delete the thing from Notepad++. So that facial hair 01 file is good. Now we go into the facial hair 01 tangent space dot if and grab the scene file, drag that to the desktop and then open that in Notepad++. Again, we want to search for the first dot model file go to the closed bracket behind it but place the cursor in front of the comma scroll all the way down to the very last dot model file as you can see there which is an LOD dot model we don't need that press shift and hold shift and click the cursor behind the closed bracket press backspace like I just did it deletes everything it brings us back to this the very first dot model file then go down to where it says LODs and delete all this LOD information we just want these to say hi head once again again this time we are inside of the facial hair underscore 01 underscore tangent space scene file all right we're gonna save this so it just saved on my desktop it's the same file that's been on my desktop that you can see to the right there all right, if I'm going too fast, just start the video over, watch it a few times, and then try to follow along. All right, I'm going to drag this inside of 7-Zip. It's going to ask me, do I want to replace it? Of course I do. I'm going to get rid of all these dot model files that have LOD in it. Click yes. This is only if you're having issues with beards glitching, okay? All right, so now we have these two files that I just updated, the facial hair 01 and facial hair 01 tangent space. I can delete that scene file from my desktop because I've got these inside of my Wegua folder. 
and we're going to go inside of edit player and I'll show you what you guys can go to to just double check to see if the players have a glitching beard. Usually, most of the glitching beards only appear on modded cyberface files and there's a specific reason for that which I won't go into too much detail about because some of you may be new to modding and watching this. Um, all right, so I usually go to signature and then look at their pregame animation for Carmelo Anthony and Spec Ball because that is where it will usually load up one of the LOD models, level of detail models. But I mean, I can go through a couple more where they're walking towards the camera because when they come from a far distance and they're walking towards the camera, the the uh, beard models switch out from the lower level of details, which is LOD level of details, switches out from the lower level of details to the higher level of details. But the 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 model that doesn't have LOD in the name is the highest uh, is the the best version of the 3D file. Which, so we got rid of all the level of details and just kept the, the one with the highest vertice count. All right. And there was no glitching, as you saw. Again, go into Signature Animations and go to Carmelo Anthony and Spec Ball. And you'll usually see if they have a beard glitch. But I got rid of the beard glitch for this one. And that is it for this tutorial. Facial hair in the facial hair tangent space. Get rid of the... LOD information, level of detail. Okay.